Imagine a town, silent as the grave, its streets empty and houses abandoned. This forgotten place, once teeming with life, now stands as a chilling monument to a past that vanished as if in the blink of an eye. A tragedy, whispered in the wind that sweeps through the deserted streets, a mystery that has never been unraveled. Every corner of this town echoes with eerie stillness, a testament to the abrupt end of life that once flourished here. A chimney, still faintly smoking, as if the fire was just recently extinguished. A table set for a meal, the food half-eaten, now rotting, as if the diners had to leave in haste. These unsettling signs of life interrupted provoke a chilling question. What could have caused such a sudden mass exodus? In the heart of this ghost town, you'll find a house that stands out. In the center of this desolate town, there's a house. It's different from the others, not abandoned but lived in. It's an odd sight in this ghost town. The grey, weather-beaten exterior tells a story of time, but the little touches of care and maintenance suggest a different tale. A swing sways gently in the breeze, the only sign of movement in an otherwise still landscape. Upstairs, a solitary light flickers in the attic, casting long dancing shadows on the cracked pavement below. A soft murmur of life echoes from within the house, whispers of a solitary inhabitant. A young teenage girl, her presence is a puzzle, a stark contrast to the lifeless surroundings. She's an enigma wrapped in the mystery of this abandoned town. It begs the question, what is her story? How did she come to be a lone dweller in a forgotten place? But who is this girl, and why does she live alone? The young girl, the only inhabitant of this forgotten town, leads a life shrouded in mystery. She lives a life of solitude, the silence of the town broken only by her lonesome footsteps echoing through the deserted streets. This is a girl who, despite her tender years, avoids the town's dilapidated church like the plague. An eerie detail, wouldn't you say? Day after day she is seen wandering aimlessly, her path never crossing the church's threshold. But why? Is it fear or something more sinister? The answer remains as elusive as the girl herself. But it's not just her avoidance of the church that's peculiar, there's something else about her, something unsettling. She seems to possess abilities that defy the laws of nature. Objects move at her will, lights flicker erratically in her presence, and she seems to know things she couldn't possibly know. Strange, isn't it? Her life is a solitary one, but not a lonely one. She has a constant companion, an invisible force that seems to guide her, to whisper in her ear. It's as if she's not alone, as if she's sharing her existence with something, or someone else. Yet, despite all these peculiarities, there's an innocence about her. A youthful charm that masks the unsettling aura that surrounds her. But there's more to this girl than meets the eye. A dark secret lurks beneath her innocent facade. As the sun sets, the girl's true nature is revealed. The once bustling town, now a desolate ghost town, didn't just fall into ruin by mere chance. No, the cause was far more sinister, lurking beneath the innocent facade of a young girl. This girl, this seemingly harmless child, was the catalyst to the town's downfall. The tale begins to unfold on a night where the moon was hidden, and the stars seemed to have dimmed in fear. An ancient evil, as old as time itself, found a host in the girl. Possessed and driven by this malevolent force, she became the puppeteer behind the town's demise. The laughter of the townsfolk, the clinking of glasses at the local pub, the soft whispers of lovers under the moonlight, all of it was replaced with an eerie silence. Houses stood empty, streets deserted, as if everyone had simply vanished into thin air. Here's the twist you didn't see coming. The girl wasn't a victim of the town's fate, she was the architect. This was her chilling masterpiece, a symphony of fear and despair, orchestrated with a terrifying precision that left no room for survival. In the end, the town was left with no survivors, only a single chilling presence, the girl.